Looks like it has. I decided to go back with the Reds hat. This may very well be the last night that we wear and sport the Reds attire. As we're one game away from elimination. This is just something that happens. Um, two of our better hitters are down in the dumps. As I said, we if you're a Larry Baller fan, you now know what it feels like to be a Washington Nationals fan and going to the playoffs and just nobody shows up with your team. And that's what we're doing here. Um, if we do lose, I do have some things that we're going to do some votes on and see what we're going to do. We're three games away from promotion. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Um, I do feel like we could win three in a row. I'm worried if the game will allow us to win three in a row. Here's your bracket right now. Over on the National League side, the Larry Ballers are down one game to three to the four seeded Wild Pigs who are in our division. The Grim Cats and Grappler series is tied two apiece. On the American League side, the Streamliners are three and one. Sir. <laughs> well, I mean, I could say that about the Reds too, even though I'm not a gigantic Reds fan. I mean, there was a time period where I cheered for the Giants because Barry Bonds went to play for them. And he was my favorite player growing up, which we all know he's kind of got a painted career. Um, the Reds have it, they've been to the playoffs or had a while or a matchup to get into the playoffs and they've really blown it. But I want to say, was it 90? So I was like super young when that happened. But the Streamliners are looking like a true number one seed over there, taking care of the Venom, who are the wild card. And then the 2 3 game on the other side as well is tied up 2 to 2. Well, like I said, we've got some things we need to talk about if we win or lose, so we'll see. Uh, one of the things that I am going to do, I've already decided that because some other people have went and made players on the video on YouTube is I'm going to make sure that I go in here and we're going to drop off the bottom teams unless they have a number of created players on it, like the swoops. They're at the bottom over there on the National League side. I'll probably leave them in, but the freebooters and skitters are in dire of being kicked out of the league and I won't bring in new teams for that. On the other side, the Royal Beasts and Moose and Finches are probably gone. So we'll see what we're gonna do with that. Just to kind of do like soccer and bring in some new teams. Uh, Zenus, usually what I do is I look at your position and I go on in that table that looks like the, um, it's got the Major League Baseball players on it and I I go ahead and I get some stats off that and try to normalize the stats. Who will be the king of the forest? Um, I don't know. Maybe the platypi are the new king of the forest. Yeah, I, I try to help it out, Zenus. Just like on our players, there is a lot of people who put like 100 across the board. I'm not going to do that. A point by the more you donate to me, the better your player will be. <laughs> All right. I'm so bitter right now on this game. Thank you, That's Travis. Let's holla for your ballers. We need to get pumped up. We gotta, this is our last chance. We've just, we've gotta be ready to go. The Larry Ballers have seven on the mound. She went out there and she pitched an amazing game. The problem was they ran into Wes Yogurt who threw a no hitter in round game one of the playoffs. How do you go against that? And it's just kind of been downhill since. We did pull off one game, but can we win? Can we win three in a row? That's going to be the question. They have a hitter who's ready to go. Wagner is locked in. He's batting 563, which holds lethal. But Pete and SKS not showing up. 
All right, this is an elimination game. If we lose, we're done. And that's just how the cookie crumbles. And we'll go from there. <laughs> They're using yogurt. That, that's what it is. All right, let's check. Oh my God. All right, let's get Reaver back in there. Oxicus, Anoni, let's bring Azur back. Team's down. They're demoralized. I don't blame them. Let's put Novamans in there. Alright. That's our lineup. Let's go with that. Larry Baller's Risk Elimination. It says it right there. Oh my god, added pressure indeed. I don't know what to do with this. This is this is it everybody. This is what it comes down to. Larry Ballers in game five facing elimination against the wild pigs. Will the pigs send them home? We'll find out right now. Novamans, Captain Pete and SKS do up here in the first. Here we go. Novaman's getting the start in right field tonight. Here's Wes Yogurt. Let's see what he brings to the table. Called strike. Two called in the top corner. And that's strikeout number one. And we're off to an amazing start. Oh, my Lord. Captain Pete. All right, guys. Ball called, one and one. <laughs> oh, my God. Now it's hit, but straight at the shortstop. Blute Michaels takes it, throws. There's out number two. Here's SKS. He's a little tense. He'll take strike one. Ground ball, does it get through? Oh, Blute Michaels with the slide. Does he make the throw? Not in time. And SKS will lead the ballers with their first hit. And that brings up Lethal D Feline. She is jacked and fit. Let's see what she can do here. 1 0. Hit well, but foul. Just a little behind it. Ball hit straight to Blute Michaels. A toss to second, and that will retire the side. We go to the bottom of the first, one hit, no runs. Seven takes the mound. We'll see if Seven can show up. Here's Blute Michaels, Bill intense. Break one called. Ground ball. And there's strikeout number one for seven. So both teams starting out the same now way. Number 60, the second base. That'll bring up Wally Bacon. He'll foul that one off to the left. Ground ball, and that's going to get through for a base hit. So a runner on here with one out for the Wild Pigs in the bottom of the first. Now that brings up Spanky Wagner. The first base. Fouled off into the dugout. Ooh, look out. Big swing and a miss there. Fork ball called strike three. Wagner has a seat. He's not used to that. And that'll bring up Theodore Stiffner with one runner on first. Still coming here. It is. Throw. Not in time. Stolen base for Bacon there. Oh, just out of the reach. Are they going to send the runner home? They are. Here comes the run home. And it's safe. And the wild pigs go up one to nothing. Number 16, the right field. That brings up Flash Evans. So pressure already mounting here in this elimination game. Devin strikes him out, but the damage is done. 
Pigs go up one nothing. The game is very, uh, very uh, drastic right now. Now batting. Here's Reaver Axis. Ball one. One and one's the count. Two and one now. That one's hit, but straight at the right fielder. Flash Evans is there, and that'll be out number one. Here's Aaron Boxicus, 182 in the playoffs. Nope. One and one. Nope. It's down the dirt, two and one. That one's hit well. That's headed for the fence. It could hit off of it. And he misses the catch. And then Flash Evans is going to throw it in. He's going to round second. He's going to third. This could be a triple for Boxicus. And he is in there. One out. And they have a runner on third. That brings up Travis the Unknown. The baller's trying to tie it up here. There's ball one to Travis the Unknown. That's popped up. That's not going to be deep enough. And that brings up Azure Alliance. Mm. Hit, but straight at the first baseman. And that will strand the runner at third. The ballers come out empty handed. Moon, Goyo, and Wickers do up. Here's Man and Moon. He's got one home run in the series. Fouls that one back. That one's fouled off as well. Called strike three, seven puts it in there perfectly. That brings up Enrique Goyo. Fouled off. That one just a little bit out inside, called ball. We're going to miss on that one. And there's another strikeout. That brings up Stracy Wickers. He's not had a hit in this playoff matchup. Devin out there pitching her guts out, knowing this is it. If they don't win, the season's over. And there's another strikeout. Devin will lead the ballers out in the top of the lineup. Now batting number seven, the pitcher. Hi. I'm ball one there. That one's in there for strike one. Doing one now to the pitcher. Called strike. Doing two. Full count to seven. And that's a strikeout right there. Pitch was on the line, had to go for it. Now to bring up Novamans. Strike one right in there. There's one and one is the count. Popped up high, first baseman dropping back. And that is out number two. And that'll bring up Captain Pete. Number 15, the center field. Called strike. One and two. And Pete strikes out. There's no way that was that early. We go to the bottom of the third. Wild pig still lead by one. Here's Wes Yogurt. Ground ball, SKS behind it, throw over the first, one away. That'll bring up Blue Michaels. Number 46, the shortstop. Little bad pitch there. 
Ground ball, just foul. Popped up, out of play. Called strike, another strikeout for seven. Umpire being very generous to these pitchers today. Here's Wally Bacon, one for one. Already scored earlier. He is the difference. Round ball. Boxicus on it. Throw to first. And we go to the fourth. One nothing pig still. SKS, lethal feline, reaver axis, due up this inning. Now batting, number 22, the second baseman. Called strike, outside corner. Hi. One and one. Howled off, what a terrible swing. And he swings and strikes out. So one away and that brings up lethal. All one. Little grounder, can lethal outrun this one? No, two away. Now batting, number 54, the shortstop. Weaver axes, two outs. Ground ball right back to Yogurt. He'll throw to first, and that will retire the ballers. Yogurt's give up two. Ballers not threatened since the second. Also, sometimes in the stands, they'll, thir they'll turn the third strikeout backwards so that it doesn't look like the KKK thing. Round ball, Lethal should have that one. It took control out of Lethal and gave it to SKS, but he made the play anyway. Here's Theodore Stiffner, he's one for one. He knocked in the go-ahead run earlier. And that ball's hit well. That's gonna get past Travis. That's gonna be at least a double. And that's gonna be a one-out double as the Wild Pigs here in the bottom of the fourth are, are pressuring again. That'll bring up Flash Evans. Let's see what he can do here. We'll look at a strike. That's the first thing he does. Oh, seven. Got to hold the runner. Seven throw the first. That makes the play. There's two away. Runner held at second. And that brings up Man and Moon. It's fouled off. Swing and a miss there. And another swing and a miss. And seven gets them out of trouble again. It's up to the bats tonight. Who is going to stand up for the ballers? Boxicus, Travis the Unknown, and Azura Alliance do a. Boxicus had a triple earlier. Strike one called. Popped up, out of play. So 0 and 2 already the count. Hi. One and one. Fouled that one back. Boxica stays alive. Swing and a miss. Boxica goes down on strikes. Here's Travis the Unknown. And that's going to be a base hit into the gap. Travis rounds first. He's going to head the second. And that's going to be a one-out double for Travis the Unknown. So the ballers may be creeping here again. That'll bring up Azura Lance. One and oh. That's inside, two and oh. That one's hit. That's going to land in the left field. They'll hold the runner at third, so runner's in the corners now with one out. And seven is up. Out off. Called strike three. I didn't think it was going to curve back in, and that brings up Novamans. Can he get a hit here? Down the line, but foul. 
God. Get over him. No! An amazing catch by the first baseman. And the baller strand two. We go to the bottom of the fifth. I put it exactly where I wanted it. Go, yo, wickers and yogurt do up. Now batting, number 10, the left fielder. That pitch is inside. Right. Whoa. Ground ball, that's gonna get through. It wouldn't even let me dive. So that's a single. That brings up Stracy Wickers. He is tense. Called strike two. Throw in, and the Zero Alliance throws the runner out. Full count here. What's seven going to go to? Fastball. Hit right the lethal. Lethal will step on the bag. Two outs. That brings up Wes Yogurt. Round ball to lethal. Throw to seven, and that will end the fifth. We go to the sixth. Outs running out for the pit, the ballers. Let's see if they do something here. The quad squad is due up. Now batting number 15. The center field. Here's Captain Pete. Right. One and one. Right. Two and one. Right. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Right. He goes after that one. Oh my God. It won't let me swing certain ways. If you notice, they do the awkward swings sometimes. Here's SKS. It's like he knows. That one's hit well. That's headed toward the wall. That is gone, and we have a tie ball game. Yes. SKS puts one on the board, and the ballers show a sign of life. His first of the playoffs, and Lethal DP Live will run up there to congratulate him. Good Lord. Now batting, number 86. The first and that brings up Lethal D Fee line. And that one's hit deep as well. That one's hitting for the center field wall. Are we gonna have back-to-back -back home runs? We are! The ballers are in the lead. The ballers show some signs of life. SKS and Lethal bringing them back into this game. Oh my lord. What a dramatic moment. Now batting. I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. Weaver takes strike one. Ooh. Round ball. Bloop, bloop gets it. Throw in time. Two away. That brings up Aaron Boxicus. He's already got a triple today. What's he smoking? What's he cooking on now? What's he smoking on? There's strike one from Yogurt. Yogurt's still locked in. That one's hit well, but I think it got a little too much air underneath it. Center fielder underneath it. Man and Moon makes the catch. We go to the bottom of the six. The ballers get two, and they are in the lead for the time being. Luke Michaels, he's rattled. He's also got a home run being rattled, so... Strike one called there. Wing and a miss, seven. Rembrandt, and there's a called strike three. Now batting, number Here's three, Wally Bacon. Azur giving the sign. Here's the pitch. Strike one called. Fouled off. Hold on the fork ball. There's another strikeout for seven. And that'll bring up Spanky Wagner. Been the hero of the playoffs so far for the Wild Pigs. There's strike one. 
Fort ball hit well right toward the gap. That's going to be problems. Here comes the throw in from Pete. That's going to be at least a double. And that'll be a two out double here in the bottom of the six. So the Wild Pigs have a runner in scoring position. Here's Theodore Stiffner. He's two for two. And seven control this. Ground ball. SKS is on it. Throw to first. And that will end the inning. The ballers keep them at one. We go to the seventh. Bottom of the lineup. Do up for the Larry Ballers. Travis the Unknown, he's one for two today. Hey Yankee gal. Two and one the count now. Go on, get ball three there. And Travis the Unknown strikes out, both pitchers having a good game today. Here's Azur Alliance, he's one for two with the single. Ball hit right back to Wes Yogurt, and he handles it with ease. And that'll bring up the pitcher seven. She's been on fire today, but not with the bat. Ground ball right to Theodore Stiffner at third. He'll throw across, and that retires the side. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Evans, Moon, Goyo, do up. Here's Flash Evans. Number 16, the right field. Hold on that one. Ground ball. Gets past Reaver. That's going to be an opening base hit for the Wild Pigs. Now <clears throat> That'll bring up Man and Moon. The center field. for it. Fouled off. Round ball fair. That's going to be trouble. It's right to the corner. The runner will at least move to third. And that's where the hold it. So no outs and runners on second and third. And that brings up Goyo. They're going to bring in Ernie Bling, though, who has come in multiple times and pinch hit runners in. And the runner's safe. Lethal had the throw right on the money, and they get, tie the game up. There's no outs, and they're bringing in another pinch hitter. That pitch is inside. There's another strikeout. So one out, runners on the corners. Here's the pitcher. Oh, they're taking Wes Yogurt out. They're bringing in Godfrey Storm. They're going to try their best to get the lead here. Double up and end the inning. So the game is tied. They keep them from taking the lead. They're bringing in Lana Lantana to pitch. Top of the order, do up. Nova Men's is 0 for 3. Let's bring in why Bummed. Called strike. Mm. That pitch is too low. One and one. Uh -oh. Two and two. Oh. Full count. Rock. Here's Captain Pete. He's 0 for 3. He'll take ball one. Ball fouled off. 
That one's hit well toward the gap. If it lands, it could be trouble. That's going to bounce off the wall. Pete goes in the second. The run's going around third. It's going to come home. Pete's giving the ballers the lead. What a time for him to come alive. Now batting, number 22, the second base. The ballers are back up on top. Here's SKS. That one's hit well down the line, but it's going to trickle foul. Out of play. Down the other line, so he'll fall 0-2. That one's hit with straight at the second baseman, and Pete barely gets back. The one out. Here's Lethal D feline. That one's hit well. Is it going to be another one for Lethal? It is. It is. They go up by three runs. Oh, my God. Lethal D showing up, keeping the ballers alive. Holy crap. His, her sixth home run of the series. And the bullpen starts churning for the ballers. Reaver steps in. And that ball's hit well to center, but just too much ground there, and Man and Moon will make the catch, so two away. And that brings up Aaron Boxicus. There's strike one. Oh, and one's the count. Uh, oh, called strike two. There is a... Oh, Wally Bacon laying out and stops that. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Top of the lineup. Do up for the Wild Pigs. Devin has 11 strikeouts, but I don't know if I can leave her in. No, it's time to bring in. We'll bring in Joe. Pitching number 66. All game, you. Oh, the lag right there. Luckily, Aaron Boxicus with the dive holds the hit. I don't know if you all could see that on your end, but that game froze and that pitch went right down the middle. Wally Bacon, he'll foul that one off. That ball's hit well. And a nice catch by Novamans out there and right. Now batting, number 26, the first base. Banky Wagner. Oh, and Lethal doesn't hold on to that one, and that but that will keep it from being extra bases. So there's a runner on first with two outs here in the bottom of the eighth. Now batting, number 15, that brings up Theodore the Stiffner. Odd strike there. There goes the runner. Nice throw from Missouri, and he gets him, and that will in the eighth. We go to the ninth. The baller's still up three. Travis the unknown. He's got a double on the day. That one's hit toward the gap, but it's flaring over, and that will be an easy catch for Rosie Hardman now playing left. Here's Azura Lions. Heyman warning up in the bullpen. There's ball one. Big swing and a miss there. That's going to be a base hit to center for Azura Alliance. And it looks like Joe's day is over. They're going to bring in a pinch hitter. They're going to bring in Zeros. Number 13. Fouled that one off. No! Oh, game. One and two. I hate the controls sometimes. That one's hit well. Oh, what a grab by Stiffner. Robin Zeros, that could have been dangerous. And that will bring up Novamans. All one to him. Now 
That ball, Bacon gets a hold of it, throws. Well, we're going to need him down the stretch, so we'll see what he does. His stats are still pretty good. Diffner Evans Moon. Let's see what happens. Brings up Flash Evans. He's one for three. Whoa. Out off. Third ball, ground ball. Reaver should have that. Throws in time. Two away. Ballers fighting for survival here. Here's Man and Moon. That might be in play. Lethal on the run. Lethal there. Lethal couldn't get to it. Strike two. Kingman strikes him out. The ballers get the win. Oh. The ballers stay alive in the playoffs. A total team effort there. Will they'll force a game six with the Wild Pigs as they win that one five to two. Five runs on nine hits, two runs on eight hits for the Pigs. The hero of the day, probably Lethal Feline. Knocking in three runs. Heat, SKS, knocking in one apiece. The real hero, probably seven, who went seven innings, giving up seven hits, only two run runs. And Kamen coming in, getting the save. Joe, a solid inning with one hit. Yogurt, giving up six hits and two run runs in seven innings. But Lantana comes in, gives up three runs on three hits. And that ruined it for the Wild Pigs. Lethal D Feline is your player of the game with the two dingers. Seven, second, and then West Yogurt. Not a perfect game this time, but he did not take the loss. It was not his fault. So the games, the series tightens up. Three games to two now. J2 and Lavelle will be on the mound, and the Grimcats go up 3-2 in theirs, and the Streamliners trying to end it, and the Streamliners will clinch and move to the semifinals. The wide loads, big win over the Wardens. So the Streamliners will be in the semifinals. Will they face the wide loads of the Wardens? And both games, all three games, could be clinched this time around, or we could force game sevens.